hands make for light work. And for a woman in Jackson, that means teaming up with her community to bring more gardens to the city's south side. Luke Snyder is here for you now with why she hopes it impacts the younger generation. We all have a part to play to try to make things better. The words, it takes a village, are painted in green on the street in front of Diane Washington's home. We're bringing the village to life. And everything that we're doing with our youth, we're going to build that village. For Washington, that means running her organization, Young People of Purpose, and the gardens that surround her home. It's part of an educational tool to give kids a place where they can get their hands dirty, take classes, give back, and in the process, grow as a community. Like when we were growing up, everybody knew each other and, you know, we were responsible for one another. And so I just want to kind of like build that same kind of, you know, closeness to the community and the people. A positive environment is something that neighbors like Alex Curling say is needed right now. Giving things to do and showing that life is not only here in this block. Life is more. They can search for more and trying to be greater instead of staying thinking that they don't have a future. Young leaders in Jackson like Jacob and Osencio say seeing Washington pour into her community is an inspiration. It's so important uh, to have leaders in the community who've been doing it for a very long time, who people look up to and who they know they can continue to come back to and get resources from and get expertise from and to have this sanctuary, right, wherever the garden is, gardens can be sanctuaries for people. Washington hopes that with every flower and every vegetable, that this garden will be its own seed for this neighborhood. I see progress. I see it looks good, but we got such a long way to go, you know, with the help of our people that help us, supporters, and all of our collaborators. We are going to build a great community. Here for you in Jackson, Luke Snyder, 6 News. Thanks, Luke. What a vision.